Here I am back at it again for the uh, third match. Um, our opponent scooped after his mulligan last time. And uh, so now we're moving on to this one. <clears throat> I won't really count that last one, but I'll upload the video just for the fun. So let me see what we got going on here. I think, even though we don't, uh, we don't have any green, do we? Man, really wanted to keep that. Let's see, this one's not much better. At least we can get a mana. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and do this. See what he's got going on. We'll go ahead and take the crown. Definitely, we'll just go ahead and take the crown. Um, and if he has a bird, let's go ahead and take the bird too, because he doesn't have a bird. What does he want? What do I want to take here? I think I just take this because it's kind of that's kind of like eliminating a draw as well as a um, yeah. See, so go ahead and get a green here. Yeah, I think I do have to get a green source here. And next turn, we'll be able to play the Instigator. And hopefully I just took him off his mana. Yeah, so now we can just go ahead and start jamming. Unfortunately, our opponent's getting uh, mana screwed, but... You know, sometimes this is what happens. <clears throat> and this is actually what the deck is designed to prey on, you know. The deck is designed to prey on stuff like this. Um, this turn, I'm just going to go ahead and play this. And we're just going to jam in here. He's going to have to jump. Yeah, see, he just there was no hope for that guy. This is what the deck is designed to do. Sometimes people just don't have answers for it. <sighs> so in actual matches now, we are, what, 2-1? and one? We just beat... The crown of possibilities. We beat Argeport mid range and we lost to Praxis tokens. Uh, and then we also went up against the guy who scooped, so it makes us three and one. Um, so, as you can tell, we opened up our three chests for three victories. So that's not so bad, right? We'll jump into another game here in a second. <clears throat> 